friends and family. They hold a vigil here every year near the spot where that woman was murdered, and they still hang on to hope that one day police will identify her killer. We love you, Patty. These women wish they weren't here tonight. 40 years is a long time. Remembering their friend and the heinous crime that upended their lives. Well, she's been all these years and, you know, we got no results on anything. On October 22nd, 1984, Patty Ann Ganya was raped and murdered outside a factory near Grand Street, two blocks from her home. She was just 17. She made an impact. I mean, she was special. It's like, uh, they killed like one of God's angels. Frank Ganya is Patty Ann's younger brother. He's marking another year without his sister and another year without justice. That's what I was scared about, that she was just going to be forgotten. Patty Ann's friends and family are making sure she's not forgotten, and they're still hoping someone may hold a clue that could lead to her killer. If you know something, say something. You don't have to be known to the police. You can call it anonymously. <laughs> We play uh, Prince Purple Rain. That was our favorite song. Every year they release balloons. Patty Ann's friends hope it's the last year without answers. And it's still, it's just hard. It really is. And that this disturbing cold case can finally be solved. Oh, I do miss her. I, I, she would have been, should have done amazing things in life. I know she would have. Now, over the years, police have used DNA to try to link suspects to the murder, but four decades later, friends and family still waiting for answers. We're live in Worcester tonight. John Atwater, WCVB News.